What's up guys, welcome back to another Sprinkler tech tip video. I am Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and what I have for you today is the Toro Evolution controller. This is a uh, relatively new controller from Toro, although, uh, let's see, it's not like this came out in the last couple years, it's probably been around for 10, let's see, it's 2021. 10 to 15 years, somewhere in there. I can't remember, but when it did first come out, it was innovative and it had a little bit different design. And I think at this point, what we see is it's purchased more often as a replacement controller. If you're looking for a smart controller for the needs of 2021, this might not be the, the unit. So this is more of a controller that you might use to replace an existing one. So if you've got this unit and you know how it works, and you wanna replace it with the very same thing, that is likely the reason that you might buy this controller. So let's flip the camera over here and take a look at it. I'm gonna open the box. Um, again, the one I have here is the indoor version. You can see that it's labeled as uh, four ID. So it comes with four stations out of the box and then you can expand it up to 16 stations. So let's go ahead and take it out. And because it is an indoor model, it has the plug. So you can plug it into the wall. And then a lot of times on other indoor controllers, there's the transformer, the black transform module that plugs in. But what Toro's done with the Evolution controller is they simply use the very same transformer that's used in the outdoor version uh, because this is sort of an indoor or outdoor. The only difference is the indoor version comes with the pigtail and the outdoor version, you can just hardwire directly in here and run conduit up and, and power it uh, permanently. So one of the things that you can see right off is that the interface is a little bit different than traditional controllers. And I think that that was one of the uh, pain points that Toro was trying to solve with this unit at the time, is they were trying to make the uh, the, the programming easier uh, for the user. So I'll leave that up to you. I think that, uh, again, if you're looking for something super easy to use in 2021, you might just go with a Wi-Fi uh, uh, controller. This, you can connect uh, to the internet. I believe you need some sort of a, a bridge, an internet bridge uh, module, uh, but you can connect it to some piece of software. So let's take a look inside. Again, it's got an easy uh, hinging panel that you can uh, remove if you need to. And then it's got your battery backup to save your time and date. And then you can see that it does come with standard uh, four zones. And then I don't have a module here, but if we had one, there is four more zones that you can slide in there through zones five through eight. And then another four zones that you can add right there. Um, you also have your uh, rain sensor terminals here. So you can hook up a wired or wireless rain sensor. You can hook up a pump or master valve. And then there's two slots for the common wire. Let's flip this back around. So again, this is the Toro Evolution controller. And uh, I'll let you guys decide if it really is the new Evolution or if it's just a slight upgrade to the old fashioned units. Um, again, I think we sell this on Sprinkler Supply Store mostly as a replacement controller, not so much for brand new installs. So if you have this on your house or on your commercial building and you're looking for a replacement, then we can get you that exact model replacement. And then I'll just point out here, you can see on our website that we have, um, uh, stock status is so this particular unit in the indoor model is not available. It's a 10 day delay. So we'll order this from Toro and then we'll ship it to you. So if you're looking for something that's in stock, keep that in mind. You can see the stock status and it will show you how many we have available. So if you're looking to buy sprinklers or you're looking to buy valves or fittings and you want to buy a lot of them, we'll go ahead and show you how many that we have available. So again, I hope that uh, helps explain a little bit about the controller. You know, you can see it as close as you can without actually touching it. And uh, if we can help you with your Toro system or your Rainbird system, your Hunter system, your Weathermatic system, your K-Rain system, we'd be happy to. You can reach us by phone, email, and chat. So until the next 
tech tip. Happy sprinkling, and we'll talk to you then.